I write whatever I think is correct. Actually, being a journalist is quite maybe the most interesting job in the world, um, including in, in China. And then it's my job to make sure they know what I'm going to do with their story. So every country's experience is, uh, is unique. We feel things change a little bit. There's some real jazz tradition there. We want the crowd to experience how journalism works. All these panels and these uh, places where journalists talk about their stories from all over the world, they have just this one goal. We get criticized a lot more. And that means we have to say, no, we know what we're doing, we know why we're doing it, and we have to find our support system. We don't really have a very clear regulation about what you should write or, or which you, you can't. There's no, no lines you know, or papers or standards at all. So all you have to do you know, in order to get two things published is to guess. Maybe the, the main problem is uh, economic, that um, media are not powerful, uh, economically not powerful, so it's complicated to get yeah. just money to work and live uh, properly. As a journalist, it was important on one end to fact check every, every single news and every single sentence um, said by a politician, said by the, by the government in charge. If you report in a way that the government thinks is not right, they can, uh, uh, they can charge you for an, uh, an offense um, or even shut down your publication. It is intimidation, um, it is uh, harassment sometimes, and you know there have been journalists who have been assassinated in many of the countries of the Middle East. Actually, you can work as an independent journalist in Russia. It's not totally forbidden or something like that. But uh, you have always uh, this sense of pressure in your head yeah, uh, during uh, your walk. If you have a Senegalese passport or an Eritrean passport, you don't have that much of freedom of movement. So basically, the the only way to travel if you, for any reason, want to leave your home country is to take illegal routes. My mother is uh, from China, she comes from Shanghai, and uh, half of my house, housing and money is, is there. So my mother is really worried about me to write these kind of articles about politics or about China. Die Afrika sagen weiße immer noch die, um sich auf Schwarze zu beziehen. Trump hat den Schutzstatus für Honduraner gestrichen. Eine Entscheidung, die als Todesurteil interpretiert wird. Rechts, links, faschistisch, antifaschistisch. I really don't like journalists, especially uh, if you are looking something about slavery, because uh, Mauritanian government say there is not slave in Mauritania. So when you ask questions, you are a danger. So South Africa is not an active conflict zone, and I think sometimes people expect reporting in Africa that uh, the challenges would be um, danger or even crime and so on. But I think um, it can be difficult to to pitch stories or to to have people realize, no, there's still something really interesting going on there. Yeah. This True Story Award, an award that is truly global because you know so many awards are only for English language, French media, German language media. This is something where um, people can submit entries in 12 different languages. This prize wants to encourage young journalists in all places where it's not that easy to be a journalist like Switzerland. It's really interesting just to get to know these people and to celebrate the young journalists who are now doing this important work. That's a gift.